foul, repugnant creature that rises from the shadowy deep, wraps its flayed skin around its prey, choking the life out of it, all the while draining essence of everything that gave it life. But enough about my mother-in-law, my God! Today on Sexy Beasts, we're talking El Cuero. Hit the music. You're just so sexy. Are you a Loch Ness monster? A louder next time. Or are you big but crip? Can we do some about Paddy? Can we get him sacked? Vampires, banshees, Tony and Jago. Oops, there's that Wendigo. Birth hey, the last hey, studio. Hey, 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 coming after me. <laughs> Who just said, fuck, said you could laugh at me, smack with me. With a big foot dick you could slap with me, blasphemy. You could dare come at me with a big foot dick and a Loch Ness monster, pussy. Very, very sexy beast. Hello, 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 or should I say, hola, hola, hola. Welcome to Sexy Beasts, your foray into the menagerie of the unexplained. Every podcast is devoted to a specific creature, cryptid, or monster. We discuss its history, its merits, and using our FEC analysis, we rate and review the beast against other creatures in the Premier Crypt that is stacked up top, but also got some new losers at the bottom, mm. so it's getting very interesting. Hayakalope. Hayakalope. Uh, came dead last last week, um, but look, it's very tight up top. Uh, and be sure to listen all the way to the end because we're going to be closing out this week with an actual freak encounter. We we gave out to you. Sorry we scolded you, but you listened and you sent in a freak encounter. I mean, you left it a bit late, but whatever. Yeah, thanks, guys. But what a freak encounter is, is a submitted story from you guys where you've come in contact with a weird freaky creature, sometimes a ghost. My name is Tony Cantwell. I'm the host of the new Wango TV digital game show, Craig Doyle's Gunge Party. I don't gunge me, Craig. Just a catchphrase from the show there. And my co-host, as always, star of the new houseplant porno, Cactus Jackoff. 90 minutes of unadulterated prick-on-prick action. Doink! Ow, 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 my little cock! Mark Jago. You're feeling very uh, creative today, weren't you? Feeling creative <laughs> and fruity! Today. <laughs> so much energy coming in. Mm, 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 mm. It's because it's October. Spooky month. Spooky month. I'm loving the spooky memes. Yeah. I am all... Because I have... And you know what? I feel like we're... I feel like we're we're in it. We're in Halloween. We're getting getting spooky. Yeah, and this is prime time for sexy beast time. And let me just say this because uh, this week, as you're listening to this, we implore you. Well, implore. We're not desperate, but it's going to be really fun. Is our live? Sh- well, we are desperate. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but please come to the Sexy Beast Live. It's probably going to be the most Sexy Beasts like show we've done. Previous ones we've done for the Science Gallery. It was all very scientific. We did one, and we were fucking very hungover for it. Like picnic. <laughs> Promise um, we won't be hungover for this. One. Won't be hungover for this one. This is going to be the most Sexy Beasts like. So please come uh, October fourteenth, Sunday. We're doing it. We're phoning it in. Yeah, which I'm also going to be on. Very funny show. Um, which will be loads of fun. So come to that in the grand social. But look, we have got a. Where can, I, where can I find tickets though? Uh, Ticketmaster. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Have to That's drop it. Okay, we have a very juicy what, Tony? Thing. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember my little whimper? Do you ever feel like you've got a little whimpering man when you're hungry? You're eating too much. Um, whenever, I whenever I take down a step down too hard off something, it like a rush of air always comes out of my mouth, and it sounds like a little weasel. It's like, huh? <laughs> <And then> if <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, if I take a step off something that is too high. And you're very close to me. All you hear me is goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like totally involuntary as well. Maybe you need softer, a softer uh, heel. Yeah, a nice little kitten heel. A nice little kitten heel. Yeah. Um, El Cuero. Tell me about. Tell me about him. El Cuero. Tell, tell me about him. Stud. Dun 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 dun. dun. I'm at the house party. I'm okay, at the house party. hang on. Let me just play some uh, Chilean music. That sounds like a... Uh, development. <laughs> yes, it does. There's always money in a banana okay. stand. Some Chilean idiot has let you into their house yeah. for a party. I'm like, hola, amigos. Como esta? Hola. Have you heard about the El Cuero? Oh, ay, 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 ay El Cuero. <laughs> it's kind of racist, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, it's Mexican. Oh, it sorry. But anyway, it's a hairless uh, creature with a flat... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love like, when you visualize this, like... Hey, have you heard of this? It's a hairless. Like that's the most like <laughs> talking to another person. It's hairless. It's hairless, and I don't know if you know about this. <laughs> El Cuero. It's uh, Spanish for either the cow hide or the leather. Mm. Do you know this? You speak Spanish, don't you? Yes, and I can confirm this is true. <laughs> uh, it's a hairless, uh, <laughs> flat body with spines along the outer rim, uh, a bit like a fringe jacket. Um, has. Um, 
a repugnant face. That word comes up a lot. Repugnant. repugnant. Um, That's some fucked up repugnant shit. Reddish uh, proboscis from itself. So this thing that like mosquitoes have to suck blood. Mm. Um, again, it's flat. Why it's named the hide or mm-hmm. the leather. Um, has eyes on the top of stalks, a bit like a snail. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. has a row of jagged teeth that inside on its torso, a bit like a sarlacc. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Fire. I'm really into that. Um, so it's basically a, 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 a big coat with snail eyes. Yeah, it's a bit like one of those, uh, you know, those tigers that are sort of like carpet tigers. Car- <laughs> like uh, laying down, getting dirty by the fire. Yeah, kind exactly. Of tiger. So it's like them, except actually his nickname is the Aquatic Tiger. Love so that. That's a nice little uh, lead into it. Yeah, it basically sounds like just a big slug, like a lamprey. What I love about this Mark Jago is it's like something we've never really. Some a lot of the things that we have, of course, we have our weird ethereal beings. We got our banshees. We got our fucking things from other realms and all mm. that leprechauns, you know, or, or just a weird form of dog or a lion, a, a large otter. Yeah, or or we can resemble it to a dinosaur. This thing is not like anything that we would really see. Yeah, it's a bit of like a big a, flat manta ray with snail eyes. <laughs> a big flat open. manta ray with a hole in its belly, which. And a proboscis, so it can suck your blood out as well. There's why so should things. we be? Why should we be scared? We should be scared because we all love to swim in the, the lakes in Chile. Of course, and um, that's what I do in my pastime. I'm a Chile lake swimmer. Uh, it's Chile on my willy. Um, and apparently, if you go near the lake, you're fucked. It's gonna jump on you. It's gonna crush you first. Dig its uh, fringe knives into your back. I don't know how Oof. to describe them. And then suck your blood out while it eats you. Like, not only does it eat you, but it sucks your blood out while it eats you. This is very, very exciting. It's uh, a real sort of like... Do you ever see the movie The Blob? When it's just getting yeah. absorbed... Yeah, and you're getting absorbed into The Blob and you can't really do anything about it. You're just like... Uh. Oh, wasn't Tom Welling in the remake of The Blob? Tom Welling, as in like Smallville. Super, Smallville Superman? I mm-hmm. didn't know there was a remake of it. I liked him. I liked Smallville so much that I would watch anything he was in, but he's just not a good actor. Mm-hmm. A very look, square jaw. Very square jaw. He looks identical to Superman. Maybe that's just... I don't know, projected on him. Uh, <laughs> I also liked uh, another nickname of uh, El Cuero, uh, El Bien Penado, meaning the well-groomed one. Well, I don't get that just because it has no hair. Yeah, well, like well-groomed, well-kempt, sh- shaven, hairless. <laughs> it just turns up and has like a really good haircut and they're like, oh, fuck. It may, Mama be, mia. It may be eating me, but check out those locks. I'd be enamored. I mean, this is why we call it sexy beasts. I, would you be, how pissed off would you be if you got eaten by something that was really ugly? Oh, uh, I'd be like, oh, fuck's sake. I'd want a handsome, even hyenas are handsome to a little, to a, to, yeah. to a degree. Like a Wendigo comes up and eats you and you're like, oh, for mm, fuck's sake. You're a fucking mananganal. Um, <laughs> but look, let's talk. Let's let's just get into it. We get, get, get stuck into the yeah, fighting. Yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I think this thing can fight. I think it can fight too. I'm not gonna like obviously you're not gonna give my score now, but I think it's a good predator. Yes. It's a good for what it does, it's a good one. Uh so if we look at some <laughs> of the, um, my good. critiques, my critiques are fucking <laughs> out of this world today. How's that Jacob? Yeah, it's good, yeah. It's a good predator. In terms of how predators go, it's good. good. Predator um good. So I mean, look at some of the, look at some of the things it can do, right? Think about maybe the theater of screams. You're thinking five foot sixty five pounds, right? So that's kind of that's a kind of middling mm. middleweight in terms of our division here. It's no cracking. <laughs> it's no cracking at all. No crack as well. The well groomed one, uh, razor sharp claws, the ability to engulf. I it's, mean, a piercing uh, probos, proboscis. Not proboscis. It doesn't have a big, it doesn't have a big nose. Uh, proboscis monkeys. Also potentially has tentacles with knives on it. It, this is sort of leading to evidence, but there's uh, stories of it, how, like, if someone goes down to the edge of the water, it sort of leaps out the way. It's a uh, an ambush predator. Mm. So it jumps out of the water, grabs you with its fucking sex flay body, and drags you back into the water. I keep saying sexy for things that don't mean sexy. Like, sexy flayed body. That's, that's Sexy that. flayed body. You sound like, you sound like young Ramsey Bolton. Bolton. Eat, cutting off dicks. Um, yeah, like so it can, it can leap out of water. It's a, a voracious predator. Um, and the lake that it's uh, supposedly from originally, Lake Lacar, mm-hmm. which is um, a glacial lake, uh, all around it is sur- surrounded by bones of small mammals and birds. Mm. So birds, like, it can get up there and jump pretty quick, so can we have some sort of speed to it? Fuck, so 
Well, there was something that I read was that it can change its size, um, apparently growing big to see large distances or shrieking small to hunt. Um, it but can I, also, I, when it washes itself up and it gets stuck, it can summon rain, apparently, whoa. to wash it back into the water. So no. we're also thinking, this is, also, this, is a, this is a little guy, this is a little storm we're, we're talking about here. Yeah, this uh, is conjurer like, of weather. It's um, has mystical powers. I didn't hear that. Before. I heard that one before. I didn't look up that one. That wasn't on the wiki. And also, I read. <laughs> I read. No, it wasn't on wiki. I had to. I, I looked up a different website for this Whoa, bad boy. Whoa, Facebook. <laughs> uh, Facebook. Just typed in El Cuero. Please, please, hello. And the Norwegian death metal band came. Up. Yeah, I did yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah, it was very cool. <laughs> and that can come into cool factor. But I also read the fact that this thing can wield, and not like knife-like claws. This thing can wield actual well, knives. Knives. I didn't. I read that and I sort of thought it was like a, a mistype or something. No, it says it, it takes previous, up the knives of pre- its previous, previous prey. Yeah, like it uses its bones of its previous prey as knives. So this thing, switchblade, motherfucker, fucking sharks and jets. You know, can fucking come at you. Could you could, this? If this thing can hold a knife, it can probably hold a sword. It can mm. probably hold, uh, uh, you know, a. Uh, 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 flail. Now, is this just like uh, a natural reaction to someone just putting a knife in its hand? Like, do you ever see that the picture of uh, that crab that has two knives in its hands? Yeah. And it's like the most dangerous animal on earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it, it probably just runs over the bones after it's killed them and it just gets stuck in it, like some sort of in its gelatinous mass. It, what its knives do? Yeah. I'd say that. I'd say this thing. Well, I also read that this thing is in a book. I read this in a book. So fuck, man. I went on Google Books, yeah. and there was a book bit of a bit in a book. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit in a book about this, right? Yeah, and it was saying that it's a type of octopus. Now we can come to evidence about this, but it was describing it as a type of octopus, and it said that it had tentacles. I didn't see that on most of the websites, but mm. this one, this book, and this was a book, by the way, it said it had tentacles. Where did you see this? Uh, it was in a book, I believe. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, a book. Also. Spineless, and I don't mean cowardly. I mean loose. Yeah. I mean, you can't break its bones, man. <laughs> you can't break its... Yeah, its uh, flexibility is going to lead into its uh, ability. So imagine, uh, imagine, imagine, uh, with, imagine a winds go. <laughs> it comes up and it grabs it, and it fucking like slips out of its arms. Slips out. Now, is slightly amphibious, but needs to be in the water. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like you take it out of the water too Ooh. long. But the thing is, though, if you take it out of the water too long, fucking now that I know, it can just summon rain. Yeah. Yeah. So they're fucked. I don't know. Now, like, I have a score here, but now that you're speaking about it, summon and rain, I sort of like that more. You know. Also, I mean? and this is jumping into evidence a bit more. If it is a manta ray, we saw what it did to Steve Irwin. Pierced his heart and broke ours with his barb. And I'm not talking about strange, stranger. That was so things. many fucking uh, tangents in like <laughs> it's fractal in its tangency. <laughs> That was mental. It was like I'm Steve saying, Irwin, Stranger Things. I'm just saying, man, I took cocaine before I came in here, yeah, so yeah, I know. That's why you're lying for him. See, I don't even know if you're lying to me now. I'm not. I don't do that. So, Steve Irwin is dead. <laughs> We've established that. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Irwin has died. I was devastated over that. Yeah, I was as well. I remember, because I, I used to watch all the show, and he was just, I felt like he was my friend. I thought he was my friend. And I thought that I could be as cool as him because I was his friend. I mean, this was an era of jackasses jumping yeah. off sheds onto mattresses. So you go up and k- kick a dog, Steve Irwin style. Wonderful time. Kick a dog? Why is Steve Irwin never kick a dog? I was kicking the shit out of dogs. Oh, you can't. You cannot put this on the internet. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. Um, but anyway, if it is a manta ray... <laughs> such a weird conversation. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. um, it's not even a punchline. It's like, I just kicked the shit out of dogs. Just kick the shit uh, if, it, if it is a manta ray, then they can kill Steve Irwin. They can kill a man. They can kill humanoid things. Hmm. Having said that, I think it's shy of fighting. <laughs> Okay, you just started this whole uh, segment saying it's great at fighting. I don't, like, Tony, stop playing games with my heart. Quit playing mind games with my heart. Uh, I gave it a fighting of, you want to know? Um, yeah, go on. Or do we need to milk this section a bit more? Um, I think we've milked the Cuero for all I can get. Okay, El Cuero, you is getting a cinco. A uh, six. You going seis? It's, what? You're going six? Oh, cinco is five, is it? I, di- I just held up my fucking hand. I you. thought you were just saying, mate, give, Hello. Me, give me your score. <laughs> give me- <laughs> yeah, so six. I see you. You're giving it a six. Yeah. Um, I. Do you know what? I'll defer to you. I'll give you a five because ne- I, I like the fact that it make rain, but then 
It's spineless. And Steve Irwin was a fucking boss. It's teensy. This thing's... I mean... Yeah, I, it's like five foot across. Maybe it's just because it's not the, like the predators we're used to. Yeah, do you know what? Um, it's not good, Predator. Speaking of which, uh, <laughs> the people from... Actually, no, I didn't get in touch with the people from Predator to get some free swag. But I did get in touch with the people of uh, Smallfoot. Uh, I emailed them directly and hopefully oh, yeah? they'll send us some free swag. She not when you just told keen. them that you kick fucking dogs. Like, they don't <laughs> kick dogs much. Uh, you defer to me. I don't have your jingle. Just sing it now. I defer to you. You made such a compelling argument. Okay, let's move on to evidence. <laughs> this is evidence is where it really gets juicy. I was being sarcastic, of course. Because this doesn't have anything. <laughs> no documented sightings of El Quiro could be found. <laughs> there, there's this story that keeps popping up constantly of uh, mm. a woman washing her baby down by a lake. The Huaham River. The Huaham River. Fucking show me up on my own podcast, why don't you? Sorry, um, I forget it's your podcast. <laughs> Mark Jago featuring Tony. Mm. Um, but yeah, so a woman's down there washing her baby. This like sort of slowly sidles up and just... Engulfs its baby while she screams at it. Ah! Which is horrible. Watched in absolute horror as this creature lunged out of the water, grabbed her infant child, and uh, took her into the, uh, the sea. Now this is this is sort of being used uh, by a lot of. I think the, I think the we can, there's not even something that we can say that it could be. You know, I mean, it's been used for to warn children to stay away from this local like yeah, a dangerous it's got thing. it's got to stem from that yeah um you because know. Uh, a lot of the, like the sightings or the the, even the the stories behind this come from indigenous people saying don't go near to that that lake and the the lakes or the rivers that they're used to <laughs> are just to they're very either deep or fast moving rivers yeah so they're going to uh, you know please stick to the rivers and the lakes that are going to be fine they're going to be fine for them yeah yeah um, I did read uh, that there are countless attacks, mm. but I couldn't find one. Yeah, that's, I read that constantly. It's like countless attacks, and then when you click on like um, like the link to find mm. the, the verification of it, it goes to another website saying the exact same thing. And then exactly, it's, it's they all stem from the same thing. There's like yeah. five websites all written the exact same thing. Um, so uh, there is an unnatural amount of dead animals around that lake, Lake Lacar, that's mm-hmm. in the Chilean uh, Andes. Um, boy, I think that's just due to the alkaline now, nature. You know, I, I, I think, I think that uh, there are attacks. We just couldn't find them. I can believe that. I can believe that this is probably a similar thing to the local indigenous tribes. Although I did read one website that oh, I believe Stone Cold Steve Austin just walked through my Stone Cold. Um, I did the indigenous tribes, although it was spelt on one of the websites, the ingenious tribes. Um, but the indigenous tribes, I'd say, probably not even tribes, people, uh, the indigenous people of the area, uh, do believe this. So I'd say there are loads of accounts of it, but we just don't. And they all have these. Do you think that it, there is loads of accounts of it, but it's not been transferred onto the white man's internet? Yeah. I, mean, I think maybe, uh, yeah, the dark there, web. There, <laughs> there is a sort of a, a tendency that, like, if a white man sees it or his account sees it, it's like, fucking unreal, let's go mm-hmm. throw it all on the internet. And then if, like, it's some. Uh, local tribes people or uh, people just like and you know not even white men because we've even looked at this all these fucking cryptozoologists and people who looked up stuff in the 18th century they're all rich people regardless of being white they're just rich and we know rich people do they lie and Mm. they make shit up and they make up history and they make up whatever they want I think we just jack in this whole fucking podcast but rather than that (laughs) what could it be well Jesus that's a great way to announce our departure from the podcast scene no we're going to get to at least 50 and then we'll take it from there but uh, what could it be because there's definitely there's even the hueke hueke I'm getting jiggy. Open up the doors. Got your keys to your city. No, there's also a thing called the Wecky Wecky or whatever, yeah. which is a, another tribe, but they describe the exact same thing. Mm. So, if they do believe that, what could it be? A giant ray. Okay. Some investigators have suggested that these animals might be species of a freshwater stingray, uh, commonly f- referred to as river stingrays, uh, found through the Amazon. That over the years could have developed self-defense mechanisms, claws, not ordinarily found in the wild could also be the Matamata turtle. Yeah, did you see a picture of that? Looked 
awesome. It looked so good. Like, I wish that was a cryptid just so we could do it because it's fucking big, fat, sexy head in it. It looked like one of the turtles that gets made in uh, the Turtles movie too. Rented to use or whatever Like, called. remember it wasn't Bebop and Rocksteady, but there was like actual turtle. Turtle, yeah. Real, like, uh, scaly and stuff. It looks like one of them. Snapper turtles. Awesome. It has a real flat head, which could be, uh, mis- I was going to say misdiagnosed. Uh, it could be... Um, Your flat head's been misdiagnosed. Sorry, you have actually just have... I can't say anything. I don't think I'm good there. Um, but <laughs> I can't say anything because I haven't thought of anything. There's, a, there's another thing. It could be an overgrown nudie branch. Woo! Have you, you looked up a nudie branch? No. It's basically just a, the, the name for a sea slug. <laughs> oh, is it? I thought it was like a pair of tits on a tree. A big nudie branch. No, they think it's uh, it could be like some sort of uh, giant sea, sea slug. Uh, and they, they come in like a variety of colors that could be misconstrued as knives in their hand and stuff Ooh, like that. Ooh, this nudie branch. Oh, very um, fluorescent. Yeah, so that's Soft what it bodied. Could, they could be like seen as that. Google one of them. In fact, if you're a hipster, get a tattoo of one of them. They're very nice. A nudie branch. Uh, also, freshwater octopus potentially, but what I thought Red was very interesting was um, could potentially be an evolved sea scorpion <sighs> which flourished from the uh, Ordovican, Ordovican and to the Permian periods, I'm butchering that, uh, 500 to 250 million years ago. Um, one species, the Tergotus buffaloniensis, uh, apparently attained a feat of nine feet, was the largest known sea, sea scorpion. scorpion. Yeah. I've never heard of a sea scorpion. Sea scorpions were roughly cylindrical and had distinct uh, latitudinal scales, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, like, do they have like the tails like scorpions? They look more like a uh, kind of a the There's... body shape of like a squid, like with a big but the the back and body is more kind of wide. No, no. Do you ever see things. um what are they called helmet crabs that just look like? Just a big fucking circle, and then there's a little tiny tail sticking out the back. Yeah, uh, like the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, like the Pokemon. So, what score did you give this? I gave this an evidence of two. I gave it an evidence of two two. Hey. Hey. Guys, I think the jackalope might be getting a best friend. Well, I don't know about that. Because do you think this thing is cool? Hmm, do you? Do you think it's cool? Hmm. Are you asking or is that rhetorical? Uh what do you think? I Let want... me interrupt you there, Jago. I think this is so cool. Yeah, fuck. It's cool. It's annoying me because that was cool because I wanted it to be shit after I looked it up for so long and found nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is going to be annoying. At the end of the day, it's a flat... It's a flat bread. <laughs> it's a flat bread. It's, it's a flat bread with knives glued to it. Yeah. Um, and I wanted it to be crap, but then... I think it's just I've seen illustrations of it attacking a human and I was like fuck that's unreal and like wrapping around like the blob like over the face like, yeah <gasps> terrifying if someone made this in into a movie I'd be fucking shitting myself yeah. did you ever see the movie The Mist uh, no but it's Shane is always talking about it um, it's our friend Shane kind of friend show mm-hmm. happy uh, wedding Shane by the way um, or congrats on having gotten married yeah oh yeah sorry it's, it's out after he's married um, a little but, bit of peek behind the curtain me and Jago are both going to the wedding it's yeah. going to be loads of fun we're, we're actually friends holiday. outside of this show as we well. are yeah weird, weird. Uh, but anyway in the, me in the eyes <laughs> just spit on it uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a part where like this creature, a flat creature comes under like these shutters doors slowly open and like it's this flat and everyone's like that sort of looks at it in disdain like this can couldn't do any mm. damage and then it sort of rears up and loads of these sharp spines sort of come out the side of it Ooh. and then it just grabs someone and it is pretty, pretty grim. Is this like, um, it kind of, you know, it also kind of lends its, I do need to watch The, the Mist. Mm. Um, oh, it's on Netflix by the way, check it out. Uh, What's it in the? Yeah, the Dianoga, that um, that fucking thing from the trash room in A New Hope. Oh, the thing that sort of came up out of the water. The yeah, eye. yeah. This also is very reminiscent to that. I mean, it looks it looks the spits of it. It has weird, you know, one kind of weird eye, like kind of sn- like why? A snail. Why was there like a, a creature in the trash room? Because like everything it was a new built thing, wasn't it? So what, where like they had to bring this in? I'm sure there's I'm sure there's five novels about how it yeah. got into the trash come back. And it's actually a Jedi or something in the end of it. And also where did it go? When they blew up? Well Oh, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? If it blew up into space and then said it had its own adventure in a nearby planet. Yeah. No, I mean like the trash compactor was closing. Like where does it go in an only track, you know? It probably has like a, a a wet 
suit. <laughs> Not wetsuit, like a wet shoot that goes out. A wet shoot. It has a very wet shoot. Probably because it's no bones. <laughs> yeah, it went down a little, like it went to a can. This is a mad one, but uh, I do think it's cool. I do like the whole idea of it, like the sort of an- anamorphous blob that mm-hmm. sort of stalks its prey. Mm-hmm. Like, it sort of reminds me of in Terminator 2 when the T-1000 yeah. goes, goes through the things, the, mm-hmm. the bars, and uh, the sort of slidey... <laughs> I can't think of a word for it Just to see slidey kind of slidey thing, thing. Yeah. yeah I know I like that uh, And you know what as well Fuck legs Fuck having arms and legs See I have a weird thing with feet I hate feet mm. like, uh, Not like Not in a weird way But I just hate feet loads And Whenever I get like Really drunk And really belligerent I always say that We should cut off our feet When we're born Jesus. And then put like Wheels on them You always say that Well not to you Because you always fucking slag me about it <laughs> Well, look, park your final scores, uh, or at least cool scores, mm-hmm. because maybe you might like El Cuero a bit more when you hear the sick fucking unreal tune that I wrote about it. That, Ooh. Gonna, that I, I, I didn't have time to record, so I'm going to have to just sing for you right now. Oh, is it a live song? It's a live song. Do I clap along to it? Um, No, please don't. Oh, sorry. So this is my song, El Cuero. Jago, I know you don't speak Spanish, but I can assure you all of these lyrics in Spanish, which I wrote in Spanish, are to do with this creature. Um, you'll you'll know when we have uh, Spanish listeners writing in thinking, saying, Jesus Christ, how did he... Whatever, here we go. El Cuero. El Cuero. El Cuero. Mamacita, hola, porque España, como dice frutas, limón, banana. El cuero es un beso, cappuccino, e un fresco, que play the guitar, just like the flamenco. Little cow face, make my pussy get so wetto. Riding him so rotten from favela to the ghetto. When el cuero, where's the letter? When I come, I come, come with the fucking falsetto. Ay! Here comes Carlos. Santana. <laughs> Is that a cock in your pocket or just a banana having sex with a damp little raggy man? Here's Carlos Santana. El Cuero. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. So, man, thanks to Carlos Santana for coming in. You want to see the... He was outside the Rogan's link. and the fucking state of him, man. I knew I could get him because yeah, he was so yeah. out of off his nut. He sounded, he sounded a bit out of time there, but that's fine. That's fine yeah, right. he was all over the place. Um, So if that reggaeton song... Does it uh, make it to number one tomorrow? Would you believe gar- gar- Garage Band, Garage Band, didn't have any reggaeton loops? Now, I know that's fucking... No one's going to give a shit about that. But I was found it very annoying. Oh, that's kind of weird. So I had to use fucking Latin shakers. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I give El Cuero a cool baby of eight. Eight. Nice. Same as me. So we don't have to defer. We don't have to defer. I defer to me. So you deferred to my five. We both went with two. And we had a cool of eight. So that means our final scores, scores is... Are is is it our is? Ours. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, in Spanish, Tony? Quinceañero. Uh, Fifteen. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Premier Crip, sorry, and you should have this up in front of me. Thank you uh, again to Ben for putting this together and keeping it regularly updated. Uh, 15 puts it in joint 23rd place. <laughs> oh, wow. Joint 23rd place. Uh, meaning ah. it's like in the bottom five. It puts it. It's tied with the Selkie and the Troll, which I think we. What the I fuck? Thought, I felt like we liked. Yeah, we really did. The Selkie, we gave a four, four and a seven. What did we give the troll? The troll we gave a five, a four, and a six. We gave this a fighting the same as the troll, man. We need to get our oh, shit together. We really need it. Uh, but just below it is the, the Tokolosh, which again, we loved, but we didn't score very yeah. high. Oh, if you get a chance, by the way, in the IFI, uh, they're playing a Tokolosh movie. 
Are they? Yeah. So I thought oh, Whopper, we should check it out. Yeah. Uh, Man Eating Trees, Bunyip, Jackalope um, at the bottom. So there you have it, guys. Uh, this, I forgot. I just literally don't even know what we're talking about. What, what group did we just do? El Quiero. El Quiero. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just a bit warm. It's a lovely. <laughs> pass out. <laughs> Doom. Um, yeah, El Quiero. Um, yeah, 15. See, oh, we liked it, but it's just uh, no evidence, barely any evidence, local stories uh, about it. And then it's fighting. I just feel like I could get away from it. I mean, it's it's. Um, I mean, it could arguably it had, we had it had the same cool as the Beast of Gavodon, so it's arguably in the top five. Cool, for cool yeah. You know, so these things just, 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 just how it works. Anyway, now let's break it off and close off the show with a little freak encounter. Freak Encounters. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Actually, do you know what, Jago? Hmm. I'm not giving this an eight in cool. Oh, what, really? Yeah, because this would. It, we gave the fucking Mukele Umbembe a seven. And that's way cooler than the or no, it's way McKelly and Bebe is way cooler than this. I am changing it. Oh, interesting! And I and I, I implore you to to do the same. Okay, so eight, eight's too big. Eight's too big for this shitty thing. It's cool. It's weird. You shouldn't even give it a seven. We should give it a six because it doesn't belong. It doesn't. No, we can't. Okay, so what team song do we play? Right. If we both defer to. I think we just play some Hans Zimmer. Uh, oh. Um. Yeah, I'm marking it down. Well, unless I need, of course, your approval. Please. And you have received it. Oh, you have played. You have chosen wisely. wisely. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a 14. Yeah. Down, down with the chupacabra. That makes more sense. Right, Wait, sorry about that. No, 14. that makes no sense. We gave it a six. What? Are we going to give it a six? Oh, you want to give it a six? Yeah. Yeah, I want to give it a six. Yeah, fuck 13. it. 13. There with your fucking man-eating trees. I just don't like people from Chile. I don't like being cold, so. <laughs> um, all right, we're in the middle of a freak encounter. Okay, uh, this one comes in. <laughs> no, wait, sorry. The new score the is. The new score is. Sir. Shut up. Shut up there for a second. Thirteen. Sir. Teen. Okay. Now, I haven't read this in advance, and I want to thank Enda Kelly, uh, follower of the show, or maybe he doesn't even know what this is for, because I just put up on my personal social, plus in a scary story, and I didn't say what it was for. So, <laughs> maybe, Enda, maybe you don't even want this being public, but unfortunately, or your name being public, but um, <laughs> too late too late for that, baby. Just waiting for that delicious drop. <clears throat> A friend of mine knew a guy in college that lived in an old house in Dublin. The guy had one roommate, and there was a third bedroom in the house for guests. Anyway, the two guys would let people stay after nights out, etc., and their guests weren't always mutual friends, but almost all of them claimed to have a bad night's sleep in the room, and a lot even claimed to either dream or wake up and see a shadowy figure standing at the end of the bed. A shadowy figure standing at the end of the bed or in the corner of the room. The guys didn't think much of it for a while, but after a series of claims, they became a bit paro. Well, my friend was over in the house one day, him and the guy having a cup of in the kitchen, when they heard footsteps, movements above them upstairs. My friend asked if the roommate was home, and the guy that lived there while staring at the ceiling looked nervously. He said, now he's at his girlfriend's house. A little confused as to what the big deal was, my friend started getting a bit paro too, thinking a burglar might be upstairs, but the footsteps started making their way towards the landing. They heard the steps go down the stairs, one agonizing step at a time, but no one came out into the hall. The amount of time it would take for a person to walk into the hall in the kitchen is when the room went freezing cold. The two lads were frozen, shitting themselves, for what felt like about five minutes. The cold feeling just went away. And he left the house. Oh! It could have been just a burglar who left a window open. No, because the footsteps were still coming 
down the stairs. Ooh, and there was no, and they were looking at the hall. And there was no one there. Thank you so much, Enda. In fact, you know what? I'm going to write back. Thanks so much, brother. No, I'll send you a message later. <laughs> Enda, thanks so much for sending that in. Um, and listen, listen to me, okay? I don't ask much. I might be an attention seeker, but I don't ask much. We need you. If you're coming to the show on Sunday. Oh, yeah. We need you to bring your freak encounters. You will uh, be asked just to give us a rough update. It, it's not, it's not gonna, you're not going to be put too much on the spot. It's not going to be like you're going to be standing there and people are going to be looking at you around like that. But we want you to bring your uh, freak encounters so you can contribute to what's going to be a very sexy, maybe even old. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it, but just bring your freak encounters. Mark Jago. Mm hmm. Uh, do you have any Chilean proverbs? I actually do. Now, this one doesn't make sense, but I, it made me laugh for a little while. <laughs> Ma- Chilean. Ma- si- <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go on. Sorry. You're <laughs> such a little wank bag. I'm a wank uh, bag. Like this fucking thing. No, it's gross. Um, oh, fuck, Tony. I didn't show me. you my dick. You caught me. All right. My uncle is sick. But the highway is green. <laughs> what the fuck? fucking vetting these before you get in the mic. Oh, are you big but crippled, <laughs> supernatural vampires, banshees, Tony and Jago. Oops, there's a Wendigo. You better learn these hey, lyrics for hey, Sunday. Hey, 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 come on after me. Who the fuck said you could laugh at me? Smack at me. With a big foot dick, you would slap at me. Blasphemy. You dare come at me with a big foot dick and a Loch Ness Monster pussy. Wait, face, sex and beast. This has been a pod... Let... <laughs> Fuck! You're drunk. I'm not. Only messing. And you're ugly, but in the morning I'll be sober. I'll keep all this in at the end. This has been a production of the Headstuff Podcast Network. 